Hello, this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel. Please subscribe. So today I want to do a real conversation, but before I start, again, thank you to all my new subscribers. I really love you guys. Um, if you have any questions or you want me to cover any topics, please let me know. I'm just about through with part two of analyzing the teachings of Jesus. We're going to talk about... Um, to turn the other cheek and the eye for an eye. And I go kind of a little bit deeper into that than uh, people usually do because we're going to cover the Torah kind of, um, I'm going to draw like a diagram and then I'll kind of explain why, you know, Jesus uses the teaching that he uses. And we can, we'll come from Matthew again. I would do Luke but we'll come from Matthew again. All right, so be ready and stay ready for the kingdom of God, okay? Be ready and stay ready for the kingdom of God. So this is Matthew chapter 25. The Bible says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Okay, so we already see how the foolish virgins did not take any oil with them. It says, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Okay, so... The foolish didn't take it. You know, five of them were wise, five were foolish. The foolish didn't take oil with them, no extra oil. Uh, the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh and go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. Okay, so the foolish talked to the, to the wise and told them to give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But listen what the wise said. But the wise answered and said, Not so lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went out to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready within with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch you therefore, for you know not the day or the hour wherein the Son of Man coming. Let me stop right there. So, we have to always be ready and stay ready, okay? Um, I've done so many videos, so I don't remember if I've done this before, but there's always a lesson that can come from this, okay? And so, who we have is virgins, and they're waiting on the bridegroom. And basically, from the bridegroom, um, we see where, you know, he tarries. He tarries. And we have five wise virgins and five foolish. And so... The foolish, you know, didn't bring any extra oils with them. They weren't ready. Okay? They waited to the last minute. They were careless. The wise were prepared and brought extra oil with their lamps. Okay? And then when the bridegroom came from the cry, right? The foolish wanted the wise to give them their oil. All right, and um, 
you have the wise saying to the foolish, no. And so then they had to go out and buy oil. But notice they could have bought oil previously, but they only chose to do it when that time of the bridegroom came, when he came and didn't tear it no more. So why do I say this? So we as people of God uh, who follow Jesus, Yahshua, we need to be the type of people that are always ready, always living for him. Don't wait to obey him. Don't wait to uh, for it to be too late to start living for him. All right, because time is not, we don't have a whole lot of time. We, we, we have to be taught to number our days. And so this is a parable that talks about the kingdom of heaven. And so we have to always be ready and stay ready. Don't get distracted with this world. Because it's a lot of people that leave here every day. And you and like one of my mentors always told me that you can't even stay here even if you try it. We can't stay. So always be in Jesus' Yeshua's light and live for him. Live for God. And don't and and always have that extra oil for your lamps. Don't let your lamp be snuffed out by the world. All right, and this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel, signing out.